this demonstration, I will be doing a quick walkthrough of the SD-WAN portion of VMware SASE Orchestrator. The Orchestrator user interface is divided into different sections. The top banner, the SD-WAN tab section, the left navigation pane, and the main display. The top banner shows the partner and customer account name. There's a drop-down to select SASE Enterprise Applications. We'll focus on SD-WAN here. There's an option to revert back to the classic version of the SD-WAN user interface, a help menu to access documentation and see the orchestrator software version, user and account information, and a top-level menu. The options shown here will depend upon your administrative permission. The tab section allows you to switch between monitoring, configuration, diagnostics, and settings. The options in the left navigation pane will change depending upon which tab you have selected. In the monitor section, the Network Overview tab shows a dashboard of edges and links within the enterprise. It also shows what applications and edges are consuming the most data. Finally, it shows a summary of enterprise configuration data. Let's look at edges under the Monitor tab. This shows a list of provisioned edges and their state, as well as a map distribution. Selecting an edge in the list provides more visibility about the applications and data at that branch location. The Overview tab shows link status and top applications and app categories by bandwidth. The QOE, or Quality of Experience tab, shows the quality score before and after any SD-WAN mitigation occurs. The Links tab shows details about WAN links at the site. There are different KPIs which can be viewed, as well as different time periods. The Paths tab shows a list of SD-WAN overlays and their Path Quality of Experience, or QOE. Flow shows a searchable list of all discrete traffic flows as seen by the branch. Application shows app usage over time and can be expanded to show a list of all apps sorted by bandwidth. The Sources tab displays similar information as the Applications tab but is focused on devices. It may also be expanded to see a list of all data sources at the branch. The Destinations tab is similar to Applications and Sources tab and provides visibility to all destinations and that users and devices at the branch have connected to. Events under the Monitor tab allows you to see a searchable list of enterprise-wide events. Reports allows you to generate customizable reports of enterprise KPI data on demand. Moving to the Configure tab and selecting the Edges option shows a list of configured edges and details about each. Clicking on an edge will take you to the Device Configuration page. All edge configuration is done via the orchestrator. Device specific such as interface configuration, for example, may be configured by expanding the relevant section. Edge application business policy and firewall rules may be configured or edited in the same way. Some of the other functions under the configuration tab include profiles, which enable the user to create and edit template-like edge profiles. Profile configs may be assigned to multiple edges. This simplifies and speeds up repeated configuration tasks for multiple devices. Segments provide the ability to define VRF light like logical separation of routing, application business policy, and firewall rules. Overlay Flow controls the global SD-WAN routing table, which provides enterprise-wide routing visibility and configuration information. The Network Services Configuration section is where things like SD-WAN hubs and clusters and network management services may be defined. Also, integration with non-SD-WAN sites via Edge or Gateway can be configured here using standards-based tunnels. Moving to the Diagnostics tab, we see three options in the Navigation pane. Remote Diagnostics, which allow a user to ex execute troubleshooting commands on a remote edge via the orchestrator without having to be on-site or use a CLI. Clicking on a listed edge will bring up the Diagnostic page for the selected edge. The Remote Action section of Diagnostics provides a list of edges Selecting a particular edge enables the user to perform remote services such as reboot, shutdown, and deactivation. Clicking on Diagnostic Bundles enables a user to request a remote packet capture from an edge. This packet capture will be uploaded to the orchestrator when completed. It also enables a user to request a remote Diagnostics Bundle be generated and uploaded for troubleshooting purposes. Finally, the Settings tab contains operational and maintenance settings for the Enterprise account, such as edge licensing, and edge management functions. That concludes our quick walkthrough of the VMware SD-WAN Orchestrator. Thanks for watching, and here are a few links if you'd like some more information.